going to be headed up to, hello, hello. Um, I just brought you guys in and so you could see um, what I've been working on. As you can see, I got some of the, um, some of the fruit and everything done. I'm trying to get you as close as I can with this particular camera. Hello, hello. Um, wanted to kind of get you guys so you could see what I've been doing. And actually, we're going to actually do some gilding today. I'm going to gild part of this. I know I, I was supposed to be on a little earlier today, but had a lot of other things kind of going on. But here we are. Here we are. And I'm going to get this one set up because, you know, I like to do my time lapse at the same time that I'm doing all my other stuff. So I normally have like several different cameras going and I know it's crazy, but that's what I like to do because then I'm actually creating content at the same time. So, um, yeah, so I like creating content at the same time. So I'm going to actually be doing some gilding. Uh, we're going to use a white gold on here. So we're going to do a uh, white gold and white gold comes in very tiny sheets like this. So this is the white gold. Let me see if you can see it right there. So can you see that white gold, white gold. So we're going to be using this white gold. Um, and it comes in these really tiny sheets. So, and it's going to go on this full garment. And I always use these kinds of metals with this uh, because these I use a little more precious metals on these particular pieces. So let me show you. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just going to grab my gilding brushes and my varnishing brush um, so you guys can see the things that I use when I'm doing these. So I'll show you my this one right here. This is my gilding brush and this brush I have to use um, and I've had this one for a long time. Um, when I'm picking up those, a lot of times when I'm picking up the other ones, here, I'll turn this to this one. When I'm picking up the, uh, like the Dutch metal ones, they're not, you know, I can use my hands with those, but not a lot of times with the white gold and the definitely with the 23 karat gold. And then I use this little brush too, because I love this little brush. Um, it's just a really fun brush. So I use this brush too. So I have my gilding brush as well as my other brush. And then this brush right here, I use for varnishing and that's varnishing means I'm just kind of rubbing it and, and getting it down. And I like to use that for my varnishing. And if you can see these, these sheets are very small and sometimes I have to cut them up and all of those kind of things. Um, like, I don't know if you could see, there's little lines here. There's little lines in the paper showing where I've cut them. I've done some cutting. So um, these I'm a lot more um, conscious about as opposed to like when I'm using the other metals, I'm a lot more conscious about waste when it comes to these, uh, these sheets, because you can see, they're pretty small. They're pretty small. So I'm very conscious about waste. Um, this one has some lines in it. So I'm not going to start there. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to the back. And I'm going to start from the back because uh, they don't have any lines. And you can see this right here has a, it's interesting because this white gold actually has a little bit of a tarnishing, which I actually like. Um, I like having that little bit of a tarnish look on there. So I'm going to flip it because I want that white. I want it to sit on top. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to just flip it and I'm going to shake it out a little bit because I want it to, um, I want it to be somewhat flat and I don't, you know, normally don't use, you can see how much it flies around. It's insane. So, and cause I'm trying not to get it stuck to my fingers because this is a lot thinner than the other one that I use. These are a lot thinner, so I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm actually going to work from the bottom up. Oh. And you definitely have to watch your peas. <laughs> watch your peas when you, um, well, actually, I'm going to work. Oh, so 
see what I mean by it getting stuck to your finger? Actually, I'm going to work. go ahead and work from the top up because it's already stuck to my finger. And I'm going to get it off my finger. There we go. So, and then I'm going to, and you see I got a crimp in there, so I just lost. So that's lost. Um, that's gone. I'm not going to gain that back. That's already lost, so I can forget about it. It's not going to be gained back. I'm not going to be able to get that back. There's no way to peel that up and unfold it and get it back. There's just no way. So I'll be doing, um, so I'm going to do another sheet of it. So I'm being very careful with how I open it. And then this one has been, you know, this was a part of the cutting when I did cuts. So I can see some cuts in here, which is going to make this one a little difficult to use. So I'm going to move to the next one. And I might actually have to open a new packet of it. All right, this one's not too bad. It does have a cut in it, but I might be able to lift it. Nope, I'm not. So we're going to open a new packet of white gold because those have the cuttings in them. And since they already have cuttings, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the fact that they have cuttings in them because I'll just use them on a smaller piece, but this is a large piece. So I'm going to go through here and I, I think I have a brand new pack. So this is a brand new pack of white gold and I know there's no cuttings on this one. This hasn't been cut and there hasn't been any cuttings on it. So um, this should be fine and it's been sealed. So it's probably there aren't, any, there's no, uh, uh, color distortions in it either. Look at that brand new pack of white gold. And so um, there we go. Actually, it's a brand new pack of two white golds. So now we're going to open that so we can get the white gold out of it and turn it that way. And we're going to open it. And there's no cuts on this goal, this white gold. So I'll be able to take it. And sometimes it's kind of nice because when I'm using whole sheets, I can just literally do it this way and I don't even have to touch it. And it kind of stays because it's straight already. And I could just put it on there. Like that. And then I don't have to worry about it moving. And I should have used just this one because now I'm going to have color distortions in the piece because this is one color and the other one um, is because this is a fresh pack and that pack has been open and kind of oxidized a little bit. And uh, because it's not a, this is more like a 12 karat white gold. So it does have a little bit of oxidation, which I don't mind because I like that sort of um, burnt edge look to it. So, and then what we'll do is we'll use some of the, um, cut pieces to fill in. So I'll go back to that one and I'll just use some of those cut pieces because I'm going to just leave it on here because it's so much easier. And then I'm just going to bring it up here and put it on there. There we go. And like I said, I'll go back and I'll use some of the cut pieces to do my fill ins to fill in some of the other spaces. And I'm, oh God, see, look at that. Oh goodness, goodness. I um, I flipped that too soon and you can see I can try to do some repair very lightly. Let me see if I can open that back up. There we go. So you can see it's, um, you can definitely mess, <laughs> mess some of these up. They will um, unfold and do all kinds of stuff and stick together. They love to stick together. So um, a lot of times when I'm doing these, I, I definitely mind my peas and my big breaths. How about that? No big breaths when you're doing these. So I'm going to come up here. And like I said, I try to start at the top. <coughs> I'm not saying that I'm great at this. So I'm not going to jiggle that paper again because that's how I ended up losing and I have to be really careful with these, these colors, too, because um, a lot of times this acrylic stays tacky for a long time. And it just literally sticks um, to the metal, which is interesting, which I find interesting. So I have to be careful when it comes to that as well. 
So we're going to move to the next sheet. And I'm not going to do a lot of sheets, but I wanted to show you how I go about doing this and all and, and how I adhere it because I'm going to go back in with some of the smaller pieces um, and do the fill in because we're going to have to do quite a bit of fill in um, there. I'm trying to connect with the next sheet. And yes, you saw I went right over that white, um, that white area because that nothing will stick to it because I didn't put any, um, I didn't put any size on that part, so the metal won't stick to it. And I, it's not like it's not like it's something I can save or use later because I can't. So because it's so thin, when they take it off, when you clean it off, it's gone. It's not gonna. It's not like the uh, Dutch metal where you can. Take it and save it and preserve it for later. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where's my little brush? We're going to try to save some of that. Let's see if we can save it. I'm going down. Oh, I just made a mess. I made it worse because I ended up attaching this side, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to lay that side down and see if I can unattach. Well, I unattached some of it, but not all of it. So I didn't unattach all of it, and that's okay. So I'm just going to rub it in a little bit, and then we're going to move to the next sheet because it's there is no saving it. There's no saving it. Once it's gone, it's, that's pretty much history. It's history. So now I'm going to go to another sheet. Uh-oh. Let's go and do it that way. And you can see this sheet has... Did the little bit of bending. It's bendy. So I'm going to see if I can pull that out straight. Because I'm almost done with um, what I can do as far as straight pieces. I'm pretty. I'm almost done with that. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty much done with it because this is not a full piece. But I'm going to put a part of the full piece down there. And then I'm going to see if I can um, take the rest up from here and they actually have one where if you want you can um, get it and it just it's a it's a sticky back one and so if you want to use that one you can oh, see I was trying to trying to save some so I'm gonna try to go back in and get that I got some sticking to my finger so I'm gonna try to get this off um, I'm gonna try to take this off so that I can save this flat because I can use this flap on something different. Hey, Philip, I can use this flap on something different. So I'm gonna see if I can just take this flap off right here. And yeah, I'm sticking it to my finger, <laughs> sticking it to my finger, but I'm gonna bring it up here and see while it's sticking to my finger. I'm trying to see where the best place for placement of it um, because it's already on my finger and I think right in here is where I'm going to land it and I'm going to see if I can get it off my finger because that's the thing. Okay, so I got it off my finger Woohoo! and then I got a little piece here so I'm going to take that little piece and then I got another little piece. So I tried it like you'll see me picking up little pieces here and there and then adding them to other sections like here. But I'm going to let these stay because I'll use those later to add to little sections. So now I'm going to actually go back to that other one that you saw me use because it already has pieces. And yeah, it's got a little varnish look to it. Um, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that to do some of the fill-ins around here. Um, because it already has some cuts in it. So that's the nice part is that it's already, see, it's already cut, which is perfect for what I'm doing because it's already cut. Oh, let's see. Somebody has a, uh, let's see. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Hey, Barb. Nice. So, um, yeah, I have a couple people talking. So I'm going to go ahead and use these because they're already cut. And so I'm gonna lift it up. I know it's hard working this in this direction. 
Um, normally, I do this on a table. I don't usually gild um, in this direction. I don't usually gild this way. Um, I normally gild um, flat because it's easier for me to handle the gilding portions of it. So, all right, now we're going to take this and I'm going to actually add this here. Actually, I'm not going to add that there. I'm going to, and this is a large piece. This is actually a large piece. So I'm going to add it right here. Normally I thin these out a lot better. Um, and then I'm going to leave some of this hanging because I'm going to go back in and use that, use those pieces as well. So I'm going to use those pieces for something else later. Look at that hanging out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that because it's, oh, uh, I didn't do a good job grabbing that. I tore it. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to pick it up. Now I can pick this up sometimes, but not all the time, but uh, 23 karat gold, because this is still a 12 karat. So I can still kind of play around with it and pick it up, but it does stick to my fingers a lot. But since I'm working with smaller pieces, um, I'm not so worried about it. Now, bigger pieces, yes, I, um, I am a little more cautious with bigger pieces, but these are smaller pieces, so I'm not so worried about it. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fill in all of those spaces that has, um, I don't, I never like to leave any tacky spaces around. So you'll see me touching everything to make sure that I have filled in all of the spaces. And then for like here, I'll be able to pull some of that down. But I'll, you know, like all of this right here, I'm going to grab all of this and do some fill-ins with that as I go along. So let me see. I'm going to grab another piece over here. I'm going to grab that piece over here. I'm trying to get that one that is already kind of hanging out. There it is. All right, that's what I was going for because it's already hanging out. And there we go. I'm going to slide it on there. I slid it. I, I just slide it on there from here. I don't know if you, if you saw that. So I slid it on there. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to take this one. I'm trying to see if it, what does it look like on both sides? So, oh, okay. Yeah, I got that stuck to my finger which happens often because my fingers, you know, whether my fingers have something on them or not. So I'm going to hold it up like this since it's already there. And that way I can maneuver it a little better when I'm holding it. So I'm going to bring it right here because I want it to fill in this space right here. Here we go. And that looks really nice. Okay. So, um, I'm going to continue to gild this and then I will get back with you guys. I just wanted to make sure I came on today because I didn't come on earlier. And I know I, um, I'm trying to make sure I come on at two o'clock and I didn't do that. It's been a busy day. So you guys understand it's been a busy day for me. Um, so just know that I'm here and I will be on again, probably be on a little later today because um, I want you guys to see what this looks like once it's all gilded. I'll be back on a little later today to show you what this looks like when it's all gilded. So until later, I'll keep working on this, but until later, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember what I always tell you, if you want to see me doing more work, just head on over to the Creative Quarantine page because I'll be doing some more of this and other things on that particular page, on the Creative Quarantine page. So I'll still be, oh, what, what, what? Okay, I'll still be working over there and I'll still be working on this, but I have to go and head over to the Creative Quarantine page. So I will see you guys a little later and definitely tune in tomorrow because I'll be back tomorrow doing some more, doing some more stuff. So bye. I get to end everything.